Welcome to the next class on digital marketing. In this session, we will learn what are removals. Now, when you come to removals, there are multiple things. There are temporary removals, there are outdated content, and safe search filtering. Now, let us understand what are removals. Now, when we have a website, it may be any website. It may be created from GoodID, WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, whatever it is, it may be any website. And you don't want Google to crawl or index your entire website or a particular page. Now, if I don't want Google to crawl or index any particular page from this website, I can paste the link in Google Search Console's removal tab. Now, I don't want Google to crawl or index my about us section. So what I have to do is I have to copy the entire link, copy the link, come back to removals in the search console, click on new request. So once you click on new request, you can paste the URL, then click next. Now what it does is it asks for the confirmation whether this is the same link which you don't want Google to crawl or index. If your answer is yes, click on submit request. So once you are done, here you can see temporary remove URL. That means after six months, the same URL can be crawled and indexed. So even after six months, if you don't want this page to be crawled or indexed, you can come back to the same session, click on new request and paste the same link. Now, once you do this, if you want to delete this request, click this button. So when you click that button, there will be an option called cancel request. You can click on that. You will see request canceled. Now there are two more things here, outdated content and safe search filtering. Now it will be blank, it will be empty. There will be nothing here. If it is empty and if it is blank, congratulations, your website is performing well. Now let us understand what are these. Let us start with safe search filtering. If a user reports your website that it has some adult content or some irrelevant stuff which people under 18 can't see. So those kind of requests will be displayed here. People who use Google will report some of the websites. The same thing goes with outdated content. So if we have written something, if we have written a blog, and after three to four years, that is completely irrelevant to the particular topic or else the topic has been updated, then the content will remain outdated. Users can report that content as an outdated content and it will be displayed in this section. As I said it earlier, if these two sections are empty, then congratulations, your website is working fine. No need to worry. So this is all about removals from Google Search Console.